Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we're having our Trump coffee. We the deplorables have spoken. Coffee cup. Uh, I have to start this off with uh, something that needs to be said. And I, I can't believe I have to keep saying this. But in light of one of my last comments on my last video that yes, I deleted and blocked, uh, one of my longtime subscribers, he revealed his hatred towards me. And I don't understand that. That makes no sense to me why people hang around in the background and and try to invent things to use against somebody so i'm going to have to set the record straight here just in case one of my other subscribers decides they want to do it be forewarned if you come back at me with hatred you will be gone i don't need the subscribers that much to have to deal with people like that uh and this guy indicated to me that all this time he's thought that all i was was a low life uh uh lay around do nothing kind of guy and just sit around the house and look for things to complain about or look for uh, a way out or the easy way out and uh, that can be I mean it, it's so far from the truth it ain't funny again I work for what I get and when I ask my subscribers to help my channel out it's because I am doing work to make things better make things great again and take trash and turn it into a treasure now if you've noticed that my videos have started getting few and far between and this is the reason it's it's not giving me any incentive to to do any videos so uh just keep in mind guys if you got something negative to say, keep it to yourself. If you don't like my channel and you don't like me, just go on and unsubscribe. I'm not that pressed for your attention. So, uh, just be forewarned that if you come at me like that, I'm going to come back at you the same way. And you will not see no more of my videos. So, uh, but anyway, let's get the, now that we've got the negative out of the way, I wanted to uh, share something today uh, that I've been working on just so you guys can see that I'm not some lazy guy that's abusing my subscribers and I can't even believe I have to say that shit. You know, it's, it's like I feel like I have to defend myself all the time and I'm getting sick of defending myself when I know I'm not the bad guy. But what we're working on is a trailer that I bought for a hundred bucks here about, I don't know, six or eight months ago. And it just happened across that somebody asked me if I wanted to buy it and he said a hundred, no, actually it's 150 bucks, I'm sorry, I lied. So I'm deplorable, okay, I lied. Uh, I just forgot. Um, I paid $150 for the trailer and this is what it looked like. And if you look at the picture again, you'll notice there's a dozer set next to it. He used to haul that dozer on his trailer. And uh, when I got it, it had no jack. It was a god-awful looking red. They had welded a whole bunch of uh, 
tubes across it. Every, I think it was like five or four or five tubes crossways on it. And then um, they welded a blade that goes on a scraper or a dozer right down the middle of it. Two or three blades. They just put one on it, welded it, put the next one on it, welded it. And it was a mess. And it was a pain in the ass to get all that stuff off. So uh, that's what we started with. It had no fenders, had no jack. The wheels were locked up, except for the last axle. There's two axles. The first axle, the wheels were locked up, and uh, that was the brakes. The bearings were just fine. So I eliminated the brakes on the very first axle, simply because my tongue is going to be high, because my truck is high. Yes, I'm going to get a drop-down hitch for it, because I'd like to get it down to 17 inches to the top of the ball. And that's where the trailer would be level. And then all four wheels would hit the ground. But until I combat that, I just went ahead and took the brakes off the front axle. And now it's just a load axle and not a braking axle. Not to mention, the only thing I'm ever going to haul on this trailer is maybe a little bit of wood. You know, if I want to get some wood from up on the farm, a couple of sheets of plywood or drywall, a little bit of that, whatever, or my four-wheeler. It's mainly for my four-wheeler. So, um, I'm going to show you what I've got so far. And I've been working diligently on this thing. I still have a lot of things left to do. I got to take the wheels back off and repaint or paint them, clean them up and sand them and then repaint them. And um, I got to build a set of ramps for it. And I've got a set of ramps that I'm going to try to work with. It's either that or just go to Harbor Freight and just buy the $98 set of ramps and have a place where they can set on the trailer and pin them, pin them up where they uh will be out of the way but anyway let's start from the front here now it had a headache rack right here on the front that stood up about that tall and it came out about this far well i didn't want that there and in fact i got to move this box because it's in the way of my um weight distribution bar which i'm probably never going to need but i also there's another reason i want to put this on the inside is because and i don't know what i was thinking putting this here uh i should have put it on the inside but i didn't mainly everything was in the way and i didn't want to work around everything so i just went ahead and put it on the outside not thinking but anyway we've got it we got to move this and move it to the inside. The reason that I took the headache rack off that stuck out this far simply was because it limited your turn radius. You couldn't turn a sharp, a, a sharper turn. It, it limited your turn radius. So I wanted to shorten that turn radius. So I got a jack. I think it was like, $29, something like that. It's all I'll ever need to use on this. I uh, made a new set of chains for it. I got two chains, same size hooks on both sides. Got that one. And we got our seven prong plug. And then we got our toolbox that we put on it and yes it's bright wait till i get to the fenders then i mounted this light on here and believe me it is bright so i had to turn it down to where it shined on the deck and and reflect it off of this instead of shining straight back because if you're sitting on a four-wheeler at nighttime trying to pull it up on there it'll blind the shit out of you <laughs> so then I went and put 
a control panel here on the bottom and this one here is the top light and you notice it's got an indicator light so you don't forget to leave it on which you're never going to leave that one on i can promise you that because it's too bright and there it is all right then let me uh, set you down here we got we still got some work to do in here we got to do some covering stuff making uh, uh, covers for the battery I want to make a cover for the battery I used the uh, the battery that I got from my big bear because I'm not going to build it no more I'm gonna part it out and yes I used way too big a fuse box because I only needed two fuses one for the winch and one for both lights then I mounted this bar right here that is hollow inside that came off of a treadmill. And it's the stuff that was left from when I lived in Winston. And I just mounted the wire going into here and all my wires go inside of it. And there's three lights, three white LED lights that goes on the bottom. There's three of them, one over there, one here in the middle, and one right here so i'll try to show that by putting this down put you all in the dark so you can see my light what do you think of that that way at night time if i want to i can see what's in my box and yes, I'm going to run a charging wire from the plug, which was already in that auxiliary there, so uh, that that battery will stay charged as long as it's on the truck. All right, then I put the winch right here. And the wire for the winch goes through this tube right here. That way it doesn't get anything laying on it or pinch it or anything like that and I 3d printed a box I did that one too but 3d printed a box to put the relay in for the hot side on the winch that keeps that protected so now I just need to make me a plate to go over it and then have it to where it mounts to this and mount down here and that will keep all that protected so that nothing hits it. I have to make a plate to go over top of this. And then I'm going to take that battery box right there. Since I don't have a lid for it, and I'm going to cut the side out of it. And I'm going to turn it upside down and make it so it mounts over top of the battery. So, uh, the toolbox is turning out pretty nice. Then I mounted... The roller system there and to add more capacity on a little 2,000 pound winch I decided to put a roller in the cable so we got a roller in the cable that comes back to this eye bolt and it goes through this wood and the two before that's underneath of it and then mounts there so I mounted the one end to that, run it or ran it through the pulley, then come back and mounted it here. I still got to put some tape around that to keep that from fraying out anymore. And this wood, now it's not the best wood. It's only a temporary fix. I, I'm eventually going to have to put new wood on it. Uh, but this was all I had at the time, and it's just, um, it's... They were really wide boards, as you can see, when I went to screw them down, it, they cracked. And I took motor, used motor oil and painted them. Believe me, <laughs> that thing was slicker than two eels in a barrel of snot when I put it on there. It was that way for about two weeks until finally it started raining on it and uh, washing most of it off. Then I took uh, spray paint and flat black just like my truck so that um, 
it matched my truck when it was going down the road. Then I got these fenders. Now that's probably the most expensive part about this trailer. And uh, I put them on and they're pretty solid. All right, I got all my hooks. I got four of them on each side. All the way up through there. That way I can tie down whatever I want. All right, I just got finished putting this roller on. I had two of them that my cousin gave me. And what these were, my uncle had a sawmill. And he had a roller track. And he has a whole stack of these rollers where he took them apart because he didn't need that sawmill no more because he went and got a bandsaw sawmill. And he didn't need that no more. So I ended up taking one of them and cleaning it up, fixing the bearing and putting it on there. And it's a little higher than the wood so that the cable hits this and not tear a hole in my, wear a hole in my wood. And... Uh, then I put tail lights on it and on both sides and these are the ramps I'm going to try to use but if I can't get them straight uh, this is how they came to me somebody brought them here and said hey you want these ramps I said hell yeah <laughs> I got to straighten all this stuff and, and sometimes when it bends like that it's kind of hard to get them straight but do, once I do get it straight, then I can take and put a piece of steel inside there and reinforce it the whole distance. Maybe use some uh, a bed frame, because a bed frame would probably fit right in there. So we're going to try to straighten this. And it had these bins on the end of it, and that was to put them on a truck. Well, we're not putting it on a truck, so we're going to take and cut that part off. I'm just going to cut it off straight right there and be done with it and put a flat plate on it on the one end, which would be probably that end, because i got it turned around backwards right now. And we're going to mount a plate to however many of these we can do, however thick my plate is, and have it so that it bolts with a wing nut or something or just set on there it doesn't really have to be bolted down you just pin there so that it, it pins on it'll rest like that right there on two pins that the flat plate comes out like that so that's what i'm going to do next so then once i do that then i can just take some kind of aluminum and cover this in right here so that it looks a little bit nicer uh, i do have some aluminum to do that with uh, i just haven't done it yet i got a piece for the front and i got a piece for that the back part uh, that came off of a uh, shower door that my cousin gave me that's laying up there in his way uh, he gave them to me and there's actually two rails in there that's exactly the same length as that and they're wide enough that all i got to do is cut one fold off or one bend off and then it'll be like an l with a long side on one side and a short side on the other side and i'll mount that in there so that'll look pretty decent but this is the trailer that i've been working on so just so you guys know I'm not sitting around here waiting for everybody to take care of me. I do my own work. And if anybody wants to know what I do, I work on four-wheelers and lawnmowers and whatever else. And this is my sign. So... Before anybody starts thinking that I'm some lazy bastard that's just using the economy and, or using the people of the United States, get that shit out of your head. I'm not a user, nor will I ever be a user. 
and when I ask for people to help out the channel it's because I do work for these videos to put them up and uh, you know that didn't get done like that for no uh, just sitting there somebody had to do that work so for me to be able to bring stuff like that to you guys I deserve something you know it ain't no different than people on TV they get paid look at Charlie Sheen he got millions of dollars an episode and all he had to do is act dumb at least I'm doing something anyway I hope you guys got uh, like to see the trailer uh, just showing it off and uh, we got another one here we're getting ready to do and it's going to be done exactly the same way and uh, that's just sitting there because I just didn't have no place to put it and I wanted it to be mobile so I didn't have to move everything at once so <laughs> this one's got a lot of issues man but we got to cut these edges off here or these ends and make it wide like as wide as that one and this is a single axle now we're going to use tread aluminum fenders on it too but what happened is when they sent me these here aluminum fenders they had them pressed together and uh, when i got them apart i noticed that fedex had put a big dent like right in here and I mentioned it to the guy about it, and it wasn't no big deal. I could have probably pounded it out with a, a dead blow hammer and been done with it. But I'll show you that. There's the fender right there. And what we plan to do is take and find center here and measure from here to the center and then measure from here to there to make them the same. And we're going to just make a, a half round fender out of this one. And we can get two of them out of it. So my cousin gets a free set of bent fenders. <laughs> so, you know, I give back just as much as people give. You know, I could say, hey, look, man, uh, I paid for that, but I didn't. You know, I paid for two. I didn't pay for the third one because he went ahead and sent me one because that one was bent. And uh, he was actually pretty decent about it. I wasn't expecting him to do that, but he did it anyway. But, you know, that's where we're going next is that trailer there. And, but I want to get this one ready to go get a title for it and get it inspected or get a VIN number to stamp on it. So, let me show you what all I took off of it. <laughs> it was funny. I wore out a, I actually burnt up a grinder on it. Move this stuff out of the way here. I took all this stuff off of it. There's the headache rack that was on it. Right there. And... Then they had that on there, and that's the main reason I didn't put the box on the inside of the frame, and I wasn't planning on taking that off, but then I went ahead and took it off, and I said, well, shit, I can go ahead and put my box on the inside of the frame now, but hindsight's 2020, right? And all these pipes was on there, and there was more than that. Uh, one of them got, I had to cut in half, and right there's the rest of it. And this is what they had welded on it. And I'm telling you, they had that stuff welded on there. So I got plenty of flat stock here that I can use for other stuff. So all that can be reused. You know, cut it and use it for something else. Who knows? Never know what you can use that for. So that's the trailer I've been working on. And I haven't really done a whole lot of videoing for it simply because... I'm just I just don't have the incentive now because of all the bullshit comments that I keep getting and I'm not a bad person and I don't like to be portrayed as a bad person and when people portray me as a bad person I, I, I stop trying to help people 
you know that that's where I draw the line so anyway don't forget to like share comment subscribe you guys have a good one later